President Obama commenting on the shootings in Tennessee, but it's what the president hasn't said about the attacks that has some critics questioning whether the administration is taking a strong enough position on lone wolf attacks here at home. Joining me now, former chief presidential speechwriter and Fox News contributor Mark Thiessen and national syndicated radio host Richard Fowler. To nobody's surprise, Mark, you do have some issues with how the president spoke the other day. What are they? Well, I mean, he didn't. Terrorism. In fact, to this day, he still has not called this an act of terror. I mean, today in Chattanooga, the U.S. attorney said, I'm going to read you what he said, the situation is being treated as a terrorist investigation. It is being led by the FBI's Joint Terrorism Task Force, and we will continue to investigate it as an act of terrorism until proof shows us otherwise. Why can't President Obama say that? If the FBI is treating this as an act of terror, why can't the president? What gives, Richard? Why not? Well, I mean, here's the thing, uh, and this is where I disagree with Mark. I think this is an act of terror. I think, you know, the FBI is treating it as an act of terror. They're investigating it as an act of terror. What's the difference if the president says it's an act of terror or not? I think that's really the larger question here. That's what I think. What do you missing. think about that? I mean, what difference does it make somebody said in the government? So, president, who cares? That's what Richard says. But, no, the president's words don't matter. I mean, this is, the problem is here, this is a part of a pattern. This is part of a pattern. The Fort Hood shooting was, was workplace violence. The Christmas Day bomber was an isolated extremist. Benghazi was because of an Internet video. ISIS is the JV team. The co attack on a kosher deli was random violence. This president cannot bring himself to identify terrorism as terrorism. I, Richard, Richard, let me ask you about, let me, let me ask you about the leadership part of it, though, Richard. Anybody can say it, but when the president does say it, it means something, especially if it's a terrorist attack on our soil. Why not lead? I mean, you're right. Anybody can say it. But well, why not the president? I mean, when you think of level severity of terrorist attacks, right, so you see what happened in 9-11. That was a terrorist attack, uh, and our country responded appropriately. These lone wolf attacks are awful. We have to do something in our country to sort of restrict them. That's going to be hard to do because we live in a free society where people can get on YouTube and self-radicalize. But herein lies the problem, you know, where, where I disagree with Mark. I think you could talk about this president's words all you want, but I like to talk about action. Since the president has taken, since he's been president for the past five years, drone attacks have destroyed, okay, well, we're has not killed 2,400 Terrorism, about a terror terrorist, attack and that happened he killed Osama here. bin Laden. It's different, Richard. We're talking about an attack that happened here. What's and the difference? It's, all, it's all radical Islam. Well, if it, well, if he's willing, if the president is willing to call that terror overseas, why not call this terror where it's We're really talking about impacting America? We're actions is what matters. So I agree with Richard actions that actions matter. That? Where, where are I, the actions? I agree with and Richard that actions them. matter. And you know what the problem is? The president's actions don't uh, match his words. I mean, we've been talking right now about gun-free zones. For our troops on the ground, Iraq is a gun-free zone. They're not allowed to shoot terrorists. Okay. Well, and the result okay. of that is... Uh, I mean, the result of let's, so let's talk about solutions, though. Quite frankly, if we look over the last several decades, when we have been confronting terrorism on our soil, we can look at the past and wonder how it is setting precedent. We still have this issue. So neither side has come up with a solution. And that's pretty frustrating for the American people. Why not? Where are the new ideas on this? Let's leave the president aside. Where are the new ideas, Richard? Oh, I think that's a good question, Jen and I think that's a question for our Congress and our leadership. Where are the new ideals? What we can say, whether we like it or not, is that since 9-11, we have not seen such a terrorist attack on this country, on this soil. It has everything to do with George Bush putting some steps in place and Barack Obama following a lot of those steps, including drone warfare and all across the Middle East. So I, I think as a country, we've got to find a way to deal with it. We've got to find a way to deal with radical Islam. Why is it but taking calling so it terrorism long, right? doesn't necessarily well, solve the does, problem. Well, here's why it does matter. And you know, Richard, that we're matter and mark you know it too that it does matter because it seems that and I'm even coming on the air as a critic of, of media as well we all get on the air we're all really sad about this we're heartbroken for the loss we're, we're heartfelt there's very little allowance to be angry enraged and bring the fight to the enemy right to really go after the problem from any leadership where where is the leadership on it mark but you're right, we have to go after the take the fight to the enemy. The problem is you cannot defend in all places against possible technique. Do the you really only way you that? can stop them. Do you really them? believe that? I mean, we're the United States of America. Of we're already setting yes, ourselves up for failure. It's a fact. If we're saying no, that we can't we're not do it, then we failure. should just all go home, right? I no, mean, I, I, well, let me tell you what the solution is, Jenna. You, the way you stop them here is by defeating them over there. And the problem is we are not defeating them over there right now. We have been bombing well, ISIS in Iraq for months, and they are not only still well, standing, second, they are Mark, advancing. They appear to be Mark, the strong horse. Richard, we've, seen the, an, we've seen an increase in these lone wolf attacks 
after we saw the destabilization of Iraq, which happened after oh, you've one, got to be we had an amount. That's the truth. That's why ISIS was created. It was because of an Al Maliki government that was uh, took it to know. one side ISIS of the religion. ISIS was created by other. the U.S. Okay. withdrawal from Iraq. That's they were defeated in Iraq. No, ISIS was they created here, here in Iraq. Problem, that is way, right? we, we, we can't even agree. We can't even that. agree, Richard and Mark, about what actually is the cause of the issue. So that leaves us pretty pessimistic about having to figure out the, <laughs> the solution. Way, it does. It does. The, I don't know. That is true. Mark, the, 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 Richard, the, way you, the way you turn off the, uh, the spigot is by taking away their caliphate. There will be no, not many so many lone wolf of terrorists well, when the caliphate is crushed over there. Oil. Rich, Let's end our dependency <laughs> on foreign oil. oil. We wouldn't, we wouldn't we'll have, have to, to deal with them at all. We'll have to wait for another show on that. <laughs> Richard, Mark, great to have you both. Thank you. Thank you.